hey guys welcome to today's video in this video i'm gonna be showing you guys how to get to really high levels in elite valley gates as you can see here i'm showing you guys some of the stats we ran this party with one warrior or, which is me and these three other rogues you can see their stats um, so if you know what we're doing if you think you are in a party where you don't have rogue as op as i did in my party then you can choose to have two warriors and two rogues or um, one mage and a rogue usually you would want at least one uh, warrior and a war um and preferably two rogues but i know um the mages are actually quite dominating at the moment as well so pretty much rogue is like the lowest class now but the, the rogue is helpful because of the boss damage that they do with aim shot so it's kind of hard to replace but um, mages are definitely up there as well so not to hate any any classes in particular i'm going to share the strategy we used in this um, in this uh, video i guess to help you guys get to a uh, level well right wave 30 plus basically so we obviously have a gold loot set each uh, that we swap to for the gold at the end of killing the boss but you want at least two necro um arcane ability um and the reason for this is because the spider and the bosses are going to stun you and when you get stunned you can't actually do any damage it takes up significant amount of time that you could be doing bosses uh, doing damage to bosses so highly recommend you guys um, try and hit the boss get as much get as much um, damage you can so make sure you have the have this um, to at least two um, necro arcane ability otherwise it becomes really difficult one you also want a glow stick egg uh, or arcane ability this is what i'm actually using in this video and you can see i've got my hotbar set up as well so i can swatch switch between things i'll give you an in-depth as we go along so you have an idea of uh, what each of the classes uh, should be doing as well not just um, um not just one or two I'm actually recording this on my iPad for the first time so let me know what you think of this video because uh, yeah this is a well, this is a little bit different than what I would uh, normally do so um, and the last thing you want one pet that's good for doing boss damage you can um, have either another um, necro or if someone doesn't have you can use other pets like Gwen or um, Siren, I guess, or um, the new Arcanide where we go. That's kind of helpful as well. That's what we used at the end to take down the bosses as well. I'm sure you've seen um, that pet's AA with the uh, with the golden um, thing at the bottom. Preferably everyone in the party has the arcane 71 or 76 armor that really helps with doing a lot of damage as well, especially when it pops. So now to get down to the actual strategy, okay, what do you need? So those three, um, the pets are some of the most important thing for getting high rounds because firstly you don't want to get uh, well you don't want to die because that's it that's over for you and your party because it's too difficult when someone loses um so you want to have those pet a really important if you can try buy those pets in arcade legend right now they are a little bit expensive but it is for good reasons but this um eggs are like some of the most op eggs that's been since like the you know forever so get them they are really helpful not just now but they're also a big investment and you can sell them in the future as well so for a uh, warrior i would uh, recommend having at least um, the juggernaut and vengeful blood after uh, after level 20 it does get a little bit difficult to stay alive without some ability 
custom ability, so I have those two ready. Basically, warrior get, stay together, so everyone, all the mobs come together, start up uh, Juggernaut, and then um, you basically activate your um, Dodger Axe, and as soon as that's activated, switch to a Glint Aegis, and just yeah do damage basically it'll incinerate them like you've seen me doing you don't really need any other weapon just those two is uh, more than enough i'm also using i think the tarot blade in this video but that's not really um, necessary you can also choose to you for uh, the bosses i usually go for the um, ebon just because the ebon um ages uh reflects damage so that's pretty much the best way to do damage to bosses here um as a warrior is to activate your axe and then um then get your proc on your um even ages that will actually do a fair bit of uh, damage to them but as a warrior your main responsibility here is to keep everyone alive and um, and make sure you are um, doing crowd control so you want to kill those mobs as quickly as possible uh, in parties where there are two um, two warriors this tends to be a little bit slower if they aren't like they don't know what they're doing so usually i found one warrior is uh, pretty good in my experience especially if you have a good warrior that you know uh, knows what they're doing it does help if the warrior are in constantly protecting um, these guys. So, um, as soon as everyone is gathered, um, you want to start uh, doing damage to them. And when that happens, you want to try get your glow stick up as soon as possible. And that's because when all these mobs gather up, the rogues can't survive the bombs that is thrown by um, the... the the big boss i guess so you want to make sure you um, really get that um, glow stick um, arcane ability up because otherwise so you can see me getting them up every time and that's very important for everyone's survival after round 20 if you don't have over 10,000 armor as a warrior it becomes too difficult to survive those bombs yourself as well so just be aware of that as soon as all the mobs are done like you've killed all the mobs you want to kill the spiders first that's because the spiders can stand a uh, stun you usually um one the more overpowered rogue would take the left spider on their own so there'll be two spiders and boss in the middle so you want to kill the left spider first um by the so you want an op rogue to over ten thousand dps uh, preferably some boss damage so one rogue will take care of one of the spider and the, the, the other three will um, do the damage to the um, other spider and the right spider and some to the boss as well. Pretty much you want to use this strategy consistently and what this will mean is um, you get plenty of time to uh, make sure those two are separated so you aren't um, getting stunned by both of them. It just let's do handle and you can help each other out whichever one is uh, done first um, that's pretty much uh, the basics of this strategy is to make sure you separate the rogue um, the spiders and the bosses and um, be careful when you are uh, killing the bosses make sure you use your arcane um, ability for necro because that's one of the most difficult thing people have to deal with here is not uh, being is basically dying and running out of time those are um, two of your biggest concerns after you get to round um, 20 plus i would recommend rogues to actually hide behind the walls so you know the area where you where you guys spawn so if you go behind if you go back to spawn area so the rogues go back to spawn area and the warrior clears out all the mobs especially if the rogues aren't as uh, like 
you know, albeit he had rogues, uh, most rogues will die instantly in those rounds. So I would recommend you guys really head back to um, back to spawn, and this includes war, uh, mages as well. The only people that can actually stand a chance here after round twenty are warriors. Um, are warriors. Um, of course, there are exceptions to this. Um, so. But basically, if you're not a warrior, I would recommend going behind the wall and waiting for warriors to kill uh, mobs really quickly so the rogues can come back and the rogues and mages can come back and do OP amount of damage to the bosses to get, uh, kill them really, really quickly like we are now. Now, this video is actually sped up at 1.5% um, more, so if you're not the full gameplay just uh, reduce the um, setting on YouTube and pretty much you should be able to see us fight like in a normal um, like a normal battle that you would um, have in Arcan Legend but uh, at a high round it does get pretty intense the pros of this is that you get a lot of a um, lot of kills i guess is a warrior which is what i was going for in this video you can see sometimes i actually i don't actually have that much gold load here on this character i think about uh, five six hundred gold load and i've got enough to like um you know 40 44 45 thousand um, gold this was be before i had the before i had a ebon weapon 180% gold load which really shot up my um, gold load to around 900 on my warrior so yeah this this place is really OP to farm unfortunately as you get higher level it doesn't actually get um, you don't actually get more gold you just get the same amount of gold but the perks of going high round is you get the achievement points for getting more and more kills um, you know, you just learn to better tank as well, you learn um, different things and it's actually pretty fun because as you get higher, this game actually challenges, your, challenges you and not to mention if you die, you don't have to reset back all the way to the start of the game because that one really does suck and then you have to like do 10 rounds before you can come back and really um, enjoy the game to the fullest um, one of the thing I would like to mention is of those people who were in my um, I had an IG and giveaway so check the description of the video to make sure you haven't uh, if you want you can collect the IGN that you have uh, won in game so you can see us actually um, us traveling uh, a little bit not too much timing is really important you want to make sure you're focusing at higher level it's really difficult to um, stay alive even as a warrior if you're not focusing or being careful pretty much avoid any red spot um, any red spot you see red zones are a no-go um, be very careful when um, dealing with bosses because if you get too close, sometimes when the boss throws uh, that bomb, it becomes way too difficult um, to actually survive. You can see near the end of the round, I'm actually using both of my skills to stay alive because it just um, gets really, really difficult um, at the high end. But totally worth it. It's a new, uh, well, different aspect of the game reminds me of the old days when we used to uh, farm really hard maps like the planner arenas uh, sorry not the arena like planner one two and three they we used to be really difficult kind of like this so yeah this uh, takes me back and you know i really had a fun time i also got a lot of achievement from doing this as well i think I've, i haven't hit uh, i haven't hit the ten thousand mobs yet but I have hit the 5,000 um, mobs. I think I've killed quite a few bosses as well, which is nice. So this place, this is a good opportunity to get a lot of gold from the game. This this place it does give you like um, at least two times more gold than the normal one. So um, this is something I would recommend farming. 
invest in your geese and pets because not only in this map but in future as well it could help you get really really far also investing is a gold loot isn't a bad option it seems like it seems like things are getting you know uh, more expensive with gold loot so if you can buy it i have sold my gold loot and that's because uh, my hand hurts when i play in arcan legend that's why i stopped but anyway, uh, I'm not gonna farm for a while, I'm taking a little bit of a break, but I'll still make a bunch of great content for you guys to watch and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you guys in the next one.